Hey guys, welcome back to Sildan Tutorials. My name is Ahmed. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna connect to free PBX server over SIP trunk. So before I get it started, I'd like to mention that I have a previous video over IX trunk, right? So I have a previous video on the YouTube. Uh, you can reach it by searching the connecting to free PBX server over IX trunk. And fortunately, we can do the same procedure, the same steps, the same configuration, except only one line that, that is different from the SIP and the trunk. Right? In the SIP trunk, we just need to add the directive that is called from user equal to the username. And the all other stuff, all the other configuration, all will be the same. So the first thing, you gotta watch the video. I, 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 I have put all my deep information in that video, all the details in that video as well, then you will understand what's going on when you configure the SIP trunk, right? So you have to watch the video, do the same steps exactly, except when you reach the configuration of the setting of the SIP right here, that is the trunk configuration, you will have to add that line, right? So for the IX, we don't need that line, the configuration was like that, but with SIP, the configuration will be like that. Right, the same thing will be for the outgoing for the outgoing section, right? So we all, we will only be changing the outgoing section, only the outgoing section, right? Now I have two extension <coughs> that is for the testing. I have the Zoiber with two extension that is connected. I have the extension 100 connected to 107. I have the extension 200 that is connected to 108, right? So in this video. <coughs> I'm gonna skip all the other, uh, all the, uh, all steps, and we'll do with you only the 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 sub trunk configuration. So again, I'm gonna go to my free PBX connectivity trunks. I'm gonna head to add sub trunk. I can say seldom tutorials. Anything you can type right here. <clears throat> you can type anything right here. Copy that. And paste. PBX one. What's your username? The same stuff right here. Again, I have I have explained all of those settings in the previous video of the IX trunk. You can watch it. And here, here is the setting for the SIB. I'm gonna go to trunk, add SIB trunk, outgoing section. Here's PBX2. Right here, we can type anything. And this is for the incoming section. PBX1. Right? And I'm gonna hit submit. Okay. Now we have to modify the outbound rules. Outbound rules for the new set trunk. Outbound routes. And I'm gonna ch choose the new sub trunk. And the same thing. Okay, we have the trunk that is working, and I have the outbound rules that is mapping the outgoing calls to the other server from each server and I have the two extensions right here <coughs> sorry now from the extension 100 I'm gonna try to call the extension 200 and as we see fortunately we have the call that is working we can verify all of that from the command line interface <coughs> as you see the call is sib rtb which is sib over trunk I can verify save show peers and you see we have the extension that is, that is registered on the 200 and we have the PBX2 which is the sub trunk and it is registered as well. Right? I'm gonna pick up the call. Answer. The same thing, I will go to other extension and call the extension 100. As we see, the call is working in the both direction. 
and as we see the call is working fine in the two directions so this is the different in a nutshell this line is only needed for the sib trunking while we can remain all the other stuff the same for the sib trunk between two free pbx server the same thing we can do it on elastix on asterisk now uh, on tricksbox bavix on flash as well any other gui will be the same procedure so i hope this video has been informative for you i would like thank you for viewing please before you leave kindly subscribe like the video and give me a comment we'll be happy to be hearing your comment and your feedback about this video Thank you. Thank you again for watching. See you next time.